All right, hello everyone. Welcome back. It's your boy Tapman coming back at you with uh, another Mass Effect 3 Let's Play series video. I forget how I do these entrances. It's been a while, but we're at part 33 right now. Um, part 32, we finished up the Citadel DLC, uh, wrapped up everything, talked to all the squad members, had a nice like final hurrah sort of party and a chat with everybody, which was great. It was fantastic to do. It's a nice little, like, wrap-up before the final mission. So what we're now going to go do, we're going to go uh, to the Cerberus headquarters. We are going to take on the Elusive Man. We are fighting him and seeing what the hell they're doing over in wherever. I think they're in the Horsehead Nebula. So we're going to head over there. So join me on this quest. That's interesting. So there's, like, nothing here. Whoa, look at this thing. Wow, fancy. It almost looks like, um... There's like a shard that Javik has, and it sort of looks like that. Okay. We're going in. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Is it ready to go yet? Ready. Except for the catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. Okay. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we leave the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. Let's do it. Let's assault him. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. Let's go. Let's go. I wondered where you were. Edie didn't tell you? She respects your privacy. Not like me. What are you doing? Reminiscing. I thought I heard the casing crack during that last fight. The bullet must have just grazed me. Do you feel ready, Shepard? What about you? That's such like a cop-out sort of thing. Just say what you want to say, dog. Just come on. I've been ready since I saw the Reapers land on Earth. I can't pretend to be surprised. We have one chance. Just one. I'm not losing that. You won't. At any rate, let's not dwell on that tonight. Oh. I'm gonna dwell on us. It would be easy for a single ship to get lost up there, wouldn't it? Correct. Yes. Yeah. It would. To find some place very far away, where you could spend the rest of your life in peace and happiness. <laughs> I need some time alone. Come on, Shepard, don't be a dick. Right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Neither would I. Alright, turn away, close your eyes. I think we're gonna get another Mass Effect style bang scene. I love you, Shepard. I love you too, Liara. Come on, like, we're not gonna be a dick here. Show this... me. Oh, show me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Turn away. Turn away. Not for kids. Definitely not for kids. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, Jesus. I might have to cut this out. We, we, we might get blocked by YouTube. We're gonna get, like, insta-banned if, we, if we're showing sex scenes sort of stuff. They carefully are, like, hiding, you know, nipples and whatever. Or doing a careful enough job. Uh, 
This is technically bang scene number two with Liara. We didn't get one uh, in Mass Effect 2, but we got that one. And of course he's got this recurring nightmare. About trying to chase after this little kid. It's like, what? I assume this is like the ghosts of all the dead people Shepard wasn't able to save. But for some reason, he's still holding on to this, like, one little kid back on Earth. Kid. I, th this sequence is just, it's mostly annoying because he, he runs so slowly and you can't control how fast he runs. And now, we're getting something. Is that Shepard? Part two? Is that Reaper Shepherd? It is. won't get any more chances to divide us. This time, the galaxy follows our lead. I worry about who will lose, or will lead them to victory. Uh, I, I think we need more of the strong presence here. Strong man. We'll win. That's a promise. You're not alone in this fight now, Shepard. Take strength from that. Thanks, Liara. My pleasure. My pleasure. You gave him your pleasure. <gasps> the strike team is in. We've got our foothold. The strike Fifth fleet, team. all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Uh oh. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. <laughs> With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. I agree. We'll take Edie and Liara then. Grab your gear. Ready to go. Ready to fight. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? It won't be a problem, Commander. Shepard, I am ready. You're taking Edie into Cerberus headquarters? I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. Be ready to take us in. Roger that. I'm sorry, what, for taking Edie? Edie volunteered, dog. What am I sorry for? Get the f get out of here with that. I'm dumb. Let's go, Cortez. Not the gun I use. Where's the R at? Everything okay, Cortez? I'm fine. I've got repairs to make. Take care. Give servers help. What are you doing? Use your fucking abilities, you idiot! I'm sitting there, I got a guy right in front of me. Okay. Shepard, 
Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. Okay. Ah. Uh. Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disable. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Turn it around. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Go that. Overriding safeties. The fighter should now launch to the hangar door. Perfect. Let's get down there. Launching fighter. The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Yeah, where's your gun? Noted. Let's what? move. What sort of gun is she using? Uh oh, Atlas mode. Again? How many Atlases are we gonna fight? Intruder alert. Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. Cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna kind of take the dick. Let me know response. when you're through. I am through. We must proceed through a sub-level to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean BI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. Oh, I think I remember this portion. It's pretty messed up what uh, what they have going on here. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. Interesting. Yeah, I you know, so we sort of got some info in the Citadel DLC as well, which was that there was like a clone made of us, uh, just in case. Um, and then we also learned from Miranda that Shepard could have potentially had like a control chip implanted in him, but the elusive man didn't want that. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. I saw what was left of you. There wasn't a lot. I thought you knew. Are you all right? No different than any other time I've been knocked out. Just took him a little longer to slap me back into fighting shape. Uh -huh. I'm still me. And this... It doesn't change anything. I knew it was really you the first time I touched you again. Oh. Uh, uh. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as he knows, we're a terrorist organization. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. Yeah. He'll work with us. He was an excellent judge of character. The Alliance wasn't listening. What the hell was I supposed to do? Sit and wait? You did what was necessary, and now you'll take him down. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We'll want some old friends as well. Mm. 
Contact Dr. Chakwaz and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He populated the Normandy with friendly faces, so you never saw Cerberus for what it was. I mean, we still sort of knew what Cerberus was, so I don't, like, it, it definitely helped, like, oh, we've got the friendly faces, it's pretty much Normandy Part 2, which, you know, we didn't really notice the difference, it was like, alright, now we're flying Cerberus colors instead of Alliance colors, and, uh, interesting choice, I, I, I don't think it was really that bad, and in the end we said F him. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Team, what's your status? We've cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? No. Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. I will bypass the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. I wonder what we'll learn here. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel... I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap Attack, well... That's what the shackles are for. The Enhanced Defense Intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. Guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with organics has become more cooperative. Yeah, that was a Mass Effect 1 mission of a rogue VI on Luna, the moon, um, that started attacking people. It turned into Edie, so pretty cool to learn. Um, I could have sworn we learned that last game, but in any case, you learned that Edie... They sort of tie it in, like, oh, you were the rogue VI. It's like, it could have been anything. Like, that's a nice little tie-in here, but it wasn't fully necessary. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, it, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... Like Joker. It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Uh-huh. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice? Ah! <laughs> Sexy voice. Sexy voice time. <laughs> what about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven Zeta Bytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke. I know. Hmm. And thank you. That's a lot of porn. Incursion team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This isn't Torfin's ship. I'm not risking you unless I have to. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. All right, we're pushing up now. Bunch of med kits and stuff. Is careful. They'll get it done. Um, 
another video log. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable. Hey, but Kevin. the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to his beliefs. He's wrong, but I can respect his decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Udina is amenable. Yes, sir. Hey, Kylo. Such a shitty character. I could have taken him. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of him, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to Thessia. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough at Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard, he should have died on Thessia. Should I finish him? I'd rather you avoid killing Shepard for now. If possible. For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. It's interesting, because the elusive man's, like, meeting with Kai Lang in person. We didn't really learn anything much there other than, like, Kai Lang's, like, weirdo involvement or, or whatever. Um... I'm kind of confused here. Which way do I go? Like, was I not supposed to go this way? I guess not, no. That was like an offshoot room that you can go to if you really want to. Yeah, now we're getting into the part that I was talking about before of like, there's like weird shit going on at this base. Is that? This is the human proto reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I guess Cerberus recovered it from the base. I can't believe you really fought that. Those poor colonists. The elusive man convinced me to work with him to save the colonies. But he never really cared, did he? Perhaps he did. He certainly fooled himself into thinking this was for the best. When you work in secret, it's tempting to believe you have all the answers. You're not him. You'd never be. If it could have saved Thessia, I don't know. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The head is largely intact. I believe they are using it for high-level computing operations. Hmm. Yeah, so the interesting thing is that if you destroy this... If you destroy the base, I don't Force think Cerberus that this exists as it, as it is. Another video log. Why didn't they, like, put these earlier in the game? Grayson's brain is a mess. He must have been completely under Reaper control by the end. And the physical enhancements? Extremely impressive, if we could avoid having entire neural pathways rewritten in the process. Grayson's failure was due to a lack of resolve. He wasn't loyal to anything but his next dose of red sand. You'd like to try it on loyal test subjects, sir? Find volunteers among our new recruits. The physical benefits are too useful to ignore. I don't know what it's referring to, though. The performance upgrades are off the charts. Our troops can outfight any Alliance soldier. Roll it out. I want all troopers fitted with implants before the Reapers arrive. I'm still concerned about us losing control of our forces. Some of them are already hearing voices. When our work at Sanctuary pays off, the only voice they'll be hearing is ours. So it was like they put Reaper tech into them, but they started being like controlled Sir, by the Reapers. You wanted my opinion on this. 
It's too dangerous. No. We're close. Sanctuary was a success. We can control Reaper forces. Everything we've been fighting for, every sacrifice we've made, it's about to pay off. We can't lose you, sir. Humanity needs your mind, and they need it intact. I understand the danger, Janna. That's why I'm trusting you with this. As long as you're here, mm. I know you'll keep me in line. I'm holding you to that, sir. Okay. Begin the procedure. No anesthetic. Computer, end recording. Interesting. So we put the uh, the Reaper upgrades, the Reaper tech into him, and that's potentially how he gets indoctrinated. He's controlled by the Reapers. Even though he doesn't realize it. It's a crazy room. I feel like this is... There's like a room in Incredibles. I know. Uh, you know, good reference. But it kind of looks like this. You know, like lasers on the walls. Kind of protects the whole area. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. What is this? The Elusive Man? Yeah, it's his room. Oh, I thought those were people jumping. But this is a dumb boss fight right here. We need to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. Damn right. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. Yep. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst? Yes. What is the Catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? Do you think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard. Everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. Yeah, he's all been in this for himself. Just like, it's a big ego thing. Bullshit. If you were willing to do everything it took, you'd have worked with me. I don't think so. You're desperate. How many have you killed? Together, we would already have the Crucible and the Catalyst. You wouldn't listen. You're still not listening. Destroying the Reapers would be the biggest mistake of our brief existence. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. We'll see about that. I think we have a confrontation towards the end with him that we might be able to convince him. I've given you every chance to listen to reason. Cerberus is done. And so are you. Once again, you failed to recognize the truth. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. It's an idea. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie, I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body. But instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Mm. The VI. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat. But don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. 
In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The Catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers? That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. Yep. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle, and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them? Precisely. Yeah, he said it was like the harness or like focused dark energy. What? Can I get some explanation? If you told me sooner, we could have planned for this. It was fear that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as Soul. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. It seems kind of dumb on the Reaper's parts, though. Like, we already thought that the final battle was going to be at Earth. And it's like, okay, they're going to move the Citadel to Earth. Like, alright, well you just did half our job for us. Just move the Catalyst, or just move the Crucible to Earth, then. And we're all good to go. It probably, like, already is being built around there. So it's like, you just did our job for us. We were going to face the Reapers head-on eventually. It doesn't really matter where it happens. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie. Get me hacked. He needs. Uh oh, okay, Lang time. Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. True. Whoa. I was about to say, what the hell? Did I beat him? I didn't think I did anything to him at the end there. I was trying to run away from a phantom. I guess he's dead. This is a kind of cool part. I think we get the chance to, like, kill him in a really sweet way. I think especially for Renegade. Which we are. How do you not hear him? He's, <sighs> Boosh. Dead. That was for Thane and Miranda, you son of a bitch. Is Shepard the best or what? Said F you, Kai Lang. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating it. I'll stop them. Better shut your mouth. I was uh, sitting over here, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta press it quickly. <laughs> Quick time actions. Okay. Random satellite. Oh, no. What is that? The Citadel, correct? Whoa. Is it like over top of Earth or something? Like what? Do I get any time in between missions? Barely. And Anderson. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the Catalyst. Thanks to the Elusive Man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. Yep. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. 
Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Yup. We'll be there Be soon. careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Shepard out. Anderson out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you gonna tell Hackett? Are we gonna tell Hackett? Okay, let me take a look. Priority Earth. So it's like, yep, you just gotta go back. Uh, like, you can check and see. Um, so yes, before we do anything, this is the final mission. The next one is the final mission, so let's go do so quick chat with a uh, squad. Is this is the final one. You ready? All or nothing. Hell yeah. Put me in a shuttle. Huh? Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. Stay sharp and get the job done. Today, we take back Earth. Roger that, Commander. Sir, yes, sir. Commander? Joker. That would be Flight Lieutenant Moreau, sir. Jeff, I was wrong. I wanted to be a little I just seen nice. Bessie get wiped out. Watched Cerberus escape with the Prothean VI. I'm sorry I took it out on you. I remember saying something about you being under a lot of stress. We'll be hitting Earth soon. Nobody knows what comes next. But whatever happens, it's been an honor to serve with you. What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's gonna happen. You're gonna kick some Reaper ass. That's what you do. Uh oh, yeah, let's and go. I'll be flying you there in style. Let's go. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. Ah. <laughs> Sticking it to that bastard Kai Lang must have felt good. It certainly did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to Earth. I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm going to make those Reapers pay for everything they've done. Mm. Oh, Tally and Garrus are chat. I think Tally and Garrus have like a romance thing. I think we walk in on them. Uh oh. Might be walking in on some action mode. Uh oh. Yeah, cause we already got our action with uh, Liara. How are you doing, Liara? Fine. I'm more worried about you than I am me. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Just tell me when you're ready to go. Yeah, I really do. I think we walk in on something here. Oh. Oh. oh we were just. Uh... I, I well, I, I just uh, I came to say goodbye and well. Uh, I uh, think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. It might have caused a rupture, so I, I asked him to check. Well, you know, because of infection risks, didn't want to jeopardize the mission. So... Yeah. I'm really happy for you. Both of you. Thanks, Shepard. Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. What do you mean to come back to? This is just a fling, Bakarian. I'm using you for your body. You're so mean. And I'm at least we finally killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. I just hope yep. we get to do the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. The Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization, a reaper trap, and my source of employment for a long time. And now it's our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the Reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin for the next cycle to wonder about. True. Heal us alive, Shepard. Awesome. Well, that was... <laughs> I, I, I remember something of, you know, walking in on them. Fuck Chakwas. Just, um... Uh, that's it. That's all, folks. 
That's it for this one. So we are going to call it quits. The next one is the last one. We are at the end of the game. Uh, I don't know how many parts I'm going to do for a Priority Earth because it is kind of a long mission. It is kind of broken up into two different spots of... Like, you get to, like, a halfway point, and then there's, like, a final push. So I'll probably do it in two different sections of, like, the end part one, the end part two, because there's a lot of, like, at the end of the game, there's a lot of, like, decisions and conversations and all of that sort of stuff that it's going to take a while. And instead of doing one mega thing, we'll probably consolidate it. But we, we attacked Cerberus, we killed Kai Lang, we found out that the elusive man knows that the citadel is the catalyst so combine that with the crucible and you get something that can potentially destroy control or do whatever with the reapers and so we'll figure out what to do with it then um the elusive man is on the citadel i believe and it's above earth so it's like all right you're like setting it up perfectly for like the assault on earth is like the end point of course bring it back always to humans being the center of everything but that's fine so we'll do that in the next one priority earth end in the game We'll end it soon. Uh, for now, go watch other videos, like, comment, subscribe, do the usual stuff, and I will check back in with everybody in part 34. Now we're going to call it quits. Thanks a lot, everybody. It's Statman, signing off.